Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com, and today I'm going to be building a trailer for my electric bicycle. Now, I don't own a car, so if I want to move stuff around, I'm pretty much using my e-bike. And I've been wanting to build a trailer for my e-bike basically since I moved to Boston, mostly for carrying big things like lumber, but also for just groceries and stuff like that that I don't want to carry in a backpack. Now, whenever I'm looking for project ideas or inspiration for something like this, I usually just go to Google Images and type in whatever the project I want to build. So that's what I did for this. And basically I just Googled, you know, DIY wooden bicycle trailers and I found uh, this guy here, this tiny picture. And I kind of fell in love with this one because it's simple, it looks nice, um, it looks like you can pull up the, the sides and the front and back so you can have it more like a flatbed or you can have the front and the rear open for carrying long things like lumber. So I think I'm going to try and build this one. The problem is I don't know how they built it and I can't find any source for this so I can't even credit whoever made this. But uh, basically I, I think I can look at how it's done and hopefully build something kind of similar. So that's what I'm going to do today. And quick side note, I'm actually filming this a little bit out of order because I already have the wood for this project. In fact, I rode my bike over to Home Depot and I cut up all the lumber that I thought I would need for this project and I carried it back in a backpack, actually the kit bag that I still have from the army, on my e-bike. And that was a less than fun experience. So I'm really excited to get this trailer finished so I don't have to carry lumber in a backpack anymore. All right, now let's get to building this trailer. I started by just squaring up a frame of 2x2s that's about 30 inches long by 20 inches wide. Then it was just a matter of screwing and gluing, or rather gluing and screwing. Next I added some additional 2x2 blocks under the frame to give me a bit more meat to hold the axles. The axle holes were drilled out between the blocks using a half inch spade bit. Once I had the axle holes drilled, I tested it out with a half inch galvanized bolt and one of the 20 inch through axle wheels which, by the way, I'll put a list of all the materials I used in the description below. Now it's starting to take the form of a trailer already. Sort of. Next, I needed to make rectangular holes for the sidewall posts. I did that by first drilling four holes, one in each corner of the rectangle. Then I used a jigsaw to connect the dots and cut out the rectangle. Somehow I lost the footage of building the trailer sidewalls, but basically I cut eight one-foot one-by-twos and then put them in the square holes that I just cut out, and then I screwed and glued 1x3s onto them to create the sidewalls. Then I installed the wheels using those half inch galvanized bolts with a half inch washer, followed by another washer, then with another washer and a nylock nut on the inside, then I tightened it all down. Now it's really starting to look something like a trailer. Alright, now I need to mount this to my bike somehow. And on Amazon I found a couple things that I think will help. One is this kind of cute little ball hitch meant for bicycles. And the other is one of these racks that bolt onto the seat post. So this is meant to bolt onto the seat post, but I'm thinking I can somehow connect it to this rack thing, and we'll see how that works. Uh, if it doesn't work, I can just bolt it to the seat post, but I'd like to have it mount a little further back on the bike. That way it'll give me a little more room behind the bike. So I'll give that a shot. So this thing originally came with this mount, right? And so this goes on the seat post. It's got this little spacer thing here. So I'm getting rid of the seat post mount, but it has this other thing that's supposed to go on like, I think it's the bolt that goes to hold the seat on, the seat clamp, I don't know. But I think I can use this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this sucker down here, something like that, and I can just bolt right through. And then once I have it like there, I can just bolt the hitch right onto it like that. And I think that's gonna work. At least I hope it is. All right, let's see what happens. So that worked, and now I just need to add the arm that connects the hitch to the trailer. I added a reinforcing block here, and then made the arm out of lengths of 2x2 two two that I reinforced with gussets to add a bit more strength to these corners, which will see a lot of bending force on acceleration and deceleration. Test fitting the hitch looks good. This is all starting to come together. Lastly, I finished up with a little sanding and then a little staining, just to make the trailer look a little less like I threw it together in my apartment and a little more like I threw it together in, I don't know, like a woodshed or something. The only thing left after that was to pump up the tires, attach the rack to my bike, and do a test coupling. It's all good now and it's time to ride.
No, I found a picture on the internet. And, it's a picture? Uh, yeah, I just made it look like the picture. Because I want to build one. Yeah, I'm actually making a video of like the build process. Awesome. Where did you get this? I got this on Amazon, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Awesome. And wheels. Cool. Well, uh, I hope it works out well for you. Thank you. And uh, have a good one. See you later. So I'm pretty happy with how that trailer turned out. I mean, it was like bouncing around a little bit, but you know, any trailer you pull behind a bike at 20 miles an hour is going to bounce around a bit on potholes. And all in all, it worked great. Now, I hope you guys found that video helpful, and maybe you'll try to build your own trailers. Last but not least, it's time to announce not just one, but two winners um, from the last two videos of one of my free books. I forgot to draw a winner last week, so this week I'll do two of them. And the winners are... Derek Thompson and Roger Kirkman. So congratulations guys, shoot me a message, let me know which one of my books you'd like, either DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, or the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, and let me know where to send your books, and I will have those in the mail to you. And anybody else who wants to win one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment in the bottom of this video, anything you want to say, and hopefully you'll be drawn at the end of my next video. And if you don't want to wait, you can always find my books on Amazon. Alright, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.